Our News People series tonight is taking us for a ride on the T's red line with a train operator you might not expect to find at the controls. Newsroom 7's Ron Sanders climbed aboard the train at Braintree Station. For thousands of South Shore commuters, this is the way to and from the workplace. For 22-year-old Cheryl McNulty, it is the workplace. Cheryl has been classified as a motorman for a little more than two years. She is one of three women operators on the red line. She works from three in the afternoon until one in the morning. I think I like nights better. In the daytime, a lot of things happen, like during rush hour, if you have a breakdown, it's held up for a real long time. But at night, if, if there's something breaks down, it's not too bad. You can get it moving and no problems. Not too many problems at night. A lot of only time we have problems is with the teenagers, like Friday and Saturday nights mostly. The job is not without other certain occupational hazards. Cheryl was once on board a train when two passengers narrowly escaped injury after someone threw a rock striking the window next to them. You have no control over those. They send the T police out, but by the time they get there, the kids are gone anyway. You know, so they hardly ever catch the kids. Most of the stonings have occurred during rush hour. After rush hour, the kind of passengers who take the tea are different. Cheryl recalls one who is particularly memorable. A flasher. <laughs> I had a fl tried to flash, but didn't succeed because I had somebody with me. But um, other than, I don't know, people don't really bother me. It's like I'm in the front of the train and they don't uh, really talk to me much. But I get girls out coming into a station and girls will be clapping for me just be seeing me drive the train and stuff. Although working on a train is more interesting than other jobs Cheryl might find, she says what she likes best about this is the people she works with at night. Ron Sanders, Newsroom 7 at Park Street on the Red Line. And we're going to be meeting 